Okay, well, I just thought I'd show you a small haul I've got. Um, some of these I'm going to use to do the print, uh, the printed papers. So the printer collage papers that I'm going to do this morning, I will use some of these things in that so we can see how they look together. It's not, um, it's not my usual palette, so I'm going for something a little bit different. Um, so I did swatch out the things that I bought, but let me go through them first of all. So the first thing I'm looking at are these PBO Deco Creams. These come in 120 ml tubes and they are an acrylic paint. But the good thing about them that I love personally, I don't know if you'd love it, but I love it, is the fact that when they dry, they are matte. So if you look there, that's a matte aqua green. We've got a matte navy blue, a matte vanilla and a matte iris. And those colours are all really, really nice uh, opaque colours to use. In fact, I think it says, yeah, definitely says opaque on all of those. Opaque, matte, iris, opaque, yes. So those are the ones I got there. You can get these on offer sometimes. Sometimes they come up um, in the Hobbycraft sale for about £2 a tube. Um, so they're a good one to get when that offer's on. Uh, these equally are good to get when they have the offer on. These are the, um, I don't know what the difference is between them actually, to be honest. I know one called Deco Cream and it's meant uh, for a high pigmentation, extra covering. But these are also designated as such as well. So they probably maybe just a smaller version of the big tubes without the Deco Cream on them. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the other ones are a thicker consistency. These are also matte paints. Uh, be careful when you look for these because they have a gloss version of these as well. Unless you want a gloss version, that, that's up to you. <laughs> if you like the gloss version, I personally quite like the matte one so that you can get some other media over the top, such as pencils or you know something else that will have a bit of tooth to it so it'll take other media. So I got um, a dark taupe, a water green, and a good old pink. <laughs> and that was the ones I got from the PBO acrylic tube, uh, not the tube paint, the, the bottle paint. These have 59 millilitres in, so a lot less paint, but they are slightly cheaper. Um, and again, if you get them on the offer, you can get these for about a pound a bottle, which I think is pretty decent. The other thing I wanted to try, oh, sorry, there was another one as well, <laughs> a cinnamon one. Yeah, that was the deco cream, forgot to pick that one up. Uh, the other thing I wanted to try was this, which is Hobbycraft's own art paint. And I thought I'd give it a go. 75 mils in a bottle. I think it's only about two pounds or something normal price. So um, if it's on offer at any point in time, maybe much cheaper. But it's a pale blue. It was a pale blue I was really hankering after because I love that so much. Um, so yep, yeah, that's the other thing. So these are all the things that's watching. Let's make sure I have got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I do, and I've got nine swatches. So top row, we've got the little bottle ones. So we've got the matte pink, the water green. That has got a little bit of water on it from my water when I wash my brush out. So it's a little splodgy, but it's not as, it is definitely opaque. It's not as uh, smudgy as that one looks at the minute. And then the dark taupe, I feel nice and chalky. They will take lots of other media over the top of them. Um, these are the PBO um, deco cream ones, a less chalky feel to them. So there is a difference. So yeah, there's less, um, less of a chalkiness to them, but they are still nice and matte and definitely will take things over the top. And this acrylic pale blue, I'm looking at this now and this is fairly, a fairly matte finish. It's probably more of a satin but it's not glossy, so 
so that's nice and that will also work nicely with other media so if you're interested pause now have a look see what i got <laughs> and i'm going to try and work with this palette a little bit today when we're printing our papers because we've got a nice range of colors so we've got some medium colors we've got some light colors and got some darker colors along here so let's see what we can do with them um, the other thing that I got when I was out, I am a big um, home bargains person. I, I go in there looking for things that I can use in my artwork. So where I head generally is the makeup section <laughs> because these little buttes, I think they're only about 59p or something for a set of all these. And look at the textures on those. Aren't they great? I've actually got one out here, which I used to um, try on a piece of artwork earlier. And that's just great for sort of sponging a textured paint over something. And these then you can wash them out. This has just been washed, so this is just drying off. Uh, but washable, reusable, brilliant. 59 peas worth of goodness there, I think. And you get six of them in a pack. I got two packs because I thought oh, I like these. I'm going to want some of these. And the thing with the thing is with home bargains is that you never know when they're going to run out of something. So when I see something I like, I tend to try and grab a couple because <laughs> uh, I know it's going to save me time later on when I'm looking for something similar. Also, along those lines, I look in. <laughs> I look in the homeware section because they have these beauties. Now these are the sponge wipes, as you can notice they have also got a beautiful texture on. Um, let me just see if I can snip that open to save me making all the rattly, rattly noises. I'm a noisy person by nature. <laughs> so if you look at that, nice spongy texture obviously washable because it's meant for washing dishes what else can we do with it we could cut out shapes to use as stamps or to add texture or whatever the heck we want to do with them so that's another brilliant thing that you can use so have a look in all your cheapy stores uh, to find things that you can use um, to give some texture to your work um, along with all the things that we can gather that we've not had to pay for from home. You know, it's like this little thing here that I've got that I keep my wipe in and my things that are drying off. This is a piece of, it had some chips in it of some kind. <laughs> I've just saved it so I can just put it on the side and put things in it. That's just my womble mind. I look at things and think, ha, I can use you for something else. And usually, and also looking at textures so i was looking at this and thinking "Ooh, that might be nice cut up and printed off but until i do that i'm going to use it as a storage <laughs> okay let's get to the fun bit now where we're going to make some papers so i will sort out this desk and i will be back very shortly and uh, bring in my gel plate with me so that we can mess around with paint and <laughs> see how messy we can get and what kind of textures we can get back in a minute okay i'm back here with a whole load of things <laughs> um yeah jelly plates if you've not used them before um really good to get hold of and have a play around with these two smaller ones this is a jelly arts plate which is a three by five size it's kind of nice the nice small size that you can maybe even take around with you you know if you if you wanted to do something um out of your house or whatever and then I got another one, it's another 3x5 one, but by a different company. This is uh, Gel Press, which is a similar thing. Uh, two different companies doing a similar similar thing. I think Jelly Plates is the original. Or Jelly Arts, should I say. Um, this is another size I've got, which is, I think this is a 6 inch by 6 inch one. And uh, that is, uh, actually no, it looks a little bigger than that. Let me have a look. Let's grab my ruler. No, I think I am right. It is six inches, yeah. So it's a six inch square one. I think I was looking at the outside and thinking it was a little bigger, but it isn't. Um, so that's nice for your squarey pieces. So say something like 
this would print on that really nicely or it would print on that really nicely and then recently indulged in a bigger one uh, this is an 8x10 one and that's by gel press again so those two are by the same company those two are by the same company both do a similar job if by any chance you don't happen to have these you can make your own jelly plate out of gelatin literally make your own plate and it's good to go for a number of times i think these may last a little longer but if you want to have a go at making your own jelly plate um, there are instructions around about on youtube to make your own gelatin plate to print from another cheap option that you can use is um, a ziploc bag so you could use a ziploc bag uh, set out your paint in a similar way as we're going to do today and literally print from that um, also a valid way of, of getting a nice print um, it's called mono printing generally i think it's, it's what its term is because you get one print from it sometimes if you've got enough paint on there you can get what they call a ghost print which is a second printing from the same amount of paint that you put down they are really forgiving you don't want to be digging into them with the very sharp tools because that will damage them but they are really good for you know just messing around with and getting some prints but without me waffling on anymore i'm going to start and we're going to use one of the small ones this size because i think it's a nice one to fit in on the camera so we'll have a go at printing on the smaller one which is three by five but obviously all these things are transferable to any of the sizes that you get okay so i've taken my jelly plate out of its casing it usually has one of these on each side so i think i'm just going to keep one on one side just for the sake of protection you can use either side obviously i'm going to lay that on actually i'll lay it on a piece of white paper you might be able to see a bit better where it is then on camera <laughs> hopefully you can see that yes right so uh, another thing that's useful to have but not completely and utterly necessary is a brayer which means you can get a nice uh, surface on your plate shall we have a go with some paint let's do it okay first of all i'm going to lay down some of this pink because i quite like it uh, do i want a bit of green on there as i'm why <laughs> why not so i'm just putting it straight on and what I'm going to do now is brayer it out. That's a technical term, obviously. <laughs> and I should have a quite a nice mix on there. And I'll do it gently because you're too heavy handed, you end up with those streaky marks and that you might not want. Okay, so what we can do now is remember these <laughs> i still haven't managed to find out my handle but what i'm going to do is i'm going to roll that on there and you can see it's leaving a nice texture so what i'm going to do now is take a little piece of my paper and a light on top press it down doodly do make sure it's got a nice pressure all over it and then we're gonna go whoopsie doodle pull it up and you've got a nice textured print obviously I could have used a little bit more of the green on that one so let's try it again with something else as I say this is addictive please be uh, ready <laughs> to um, just play around for hours <laughs> Is addictive you think oh wonder if i try this uh it's not helping that it's sliding maybe i should have took that bottom piece off never mind we'll go with it so on top of that i'm going to lay down another one so i've got rid of what was on my brayer to start off with and just putting a bit more on there sorry about the noise of my rattly brayer <laughs> uh lie that down the other thing i have got is um some silicon tools 
these <laughs> strangely enough and nail art tools i got them really really cheaply again from home bargains thank you home bargains and these make great marks so you could just mark into your piece i'm just going to do some simple marks on here simple mark making and these don't damage your jelly plate which is good right down there Actually, I'll pop it on that side where all the dirty things are again we're going to lay down our piece of paper press it down if you've got another brayer which I have but I'm too lazy to get up and fetch um, <laughs> literally just press down and press it down and then lift it up you can see more now the pink was underneath I laid some of the green down on top and we got quite a nice print. You can imagine as well this being on a bigger sheet so you'd have a lot more paper to play around with but if you just want a lot of lots of little bits this is the best way to go yeah. Let's try something a little bit darker. I'm just going to pop that over there to dry and it, because it's acrylic it's going to dry super quick. Um, let's try some of this boy. And roll it on doesn't matter that the stuff's underneath it as well and these clean up really well with a baby wipe so if you've got um, baby wipe to clean up I might put a little bit too much on there light hand light hand cookie light hand okay I like that but I want to add in some interest so I'm going to put some little dots of pink on there and I'm going to I'm going to bring it in. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. It's all having an experimenting mind just to try different things. Okay, so we've got that. What else do I have in my stash of stuff? I have some stencils. These ones are not my homemade ones, which I'm not sure where they are at the minute. I seem to have mislaid them, but we'll use this one for now. I'm just going to lay this on here and I'm going to press this onto here she said hopefully so that we can get a print from that which will be interesting so you get that which is cool isn't it but also we'll get another piece off here so I'm just going to lie that down there press that down because that's going to have paint on it isn't it <laughs> isn't it fun okay so it's kind of an interesting texture and it's like the reverse of this one so you can get both ways and then and then we've got all this beautiful textured paint left on here which I want to try and get another print of I'm going to go with this tissue paper. This is high strength tissue paper. It's what they use for carnivals, called carnival paper. You can print on either side. Um, I don't think it matters which side you print on. It depends on whether you like the shinier side or the matte side. I'm going to go with the matte side. So let's push that down there. Stick it on. I can already see we're getting some lovely texture there. And because this is wet strength it just just is a bit stronger than your packing tissue paper which is also good nothing wrong with that as well so keep hold of that so we've got some nice bobbly texture on there how cool is that right now this has still got some paint on it but what i'm gonna do is ooh, what shall i do what shall i do uh let's whack some of this over it I have a feeling I'm going a bit mad with um, the amount of paint. You don't really need that much for this small block. <laughs> oh, you do. We're just going to go with it. So light touch, light touch. You don't need to overload it like I just did. So just a small amount. And brayer it until it starts to be a bit 
tacky if you know what I mean it kind of has more of a pull to it you're doing printmaking for real then you do this until it was super tacky and there's very little left on the plate okay uh, do I want to do anything to it first yeah what do I want to do I want to put half of that on there and I want to get a print on there with that smoothing it down and lifting it up oh maybe I didn't press too hard in the middle ah, it's quite nice I quite like that texture there taking that off putting that over there maybe I could maybe I could lie that on there and get something let's try that shall we I really should fetch my brayer shouldn't I my other brayer <laughs> but I'm too lazy oh yeah see that's quite nice it's a nice little print uh, pop that over there try not to drip it in my tea and grab one of the tissue papers I'm going to do this half on there because I think I can get half on something else in a minute Oh, I know what we could do. There we go. <laughs> Necessity is the mother of invention. <laughs> you just grab anything round to roll on top. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. Right, so back in with this pinky boy. Don't put too much on. Don't put too much on. And go for it can see what I mean you can go forever with this it's just lovely and with those other um, handmade stencils that I made it's gonna come out beautiful I'm gonna put some swirls in this one I like swirls <laughs> I like blinking I do <laughs> remember who said that drop me a note in the comments if you do right okay so the other half of this tissue paper I am going to print this take my toilet roll roller so if you haven't <laughs> you haven't got a brayer just grab the inside of a toilet roll to use oh yes I'm liking that already can you see the dual colors so you don't have to clean off your plate in between times if you leave it on there you will get some very interesting results that you weren't expecting that's what I love about this whole process is that you never know what you're going to get next I'm going to stick some of this on there so I have three colors going on there are some fabulous jelly plate videos that you can source on YouTube as well look at me whacking on loads of paint again that I shouldn't have <laughs> light touch, light touch, light touch with my rattly brayer. Stay there. Okay. Um, ooh, yes. So you can buy um, specially made silicon tools um, to do this very thing with, which cost you an arm and a leg. I know because I've got some <laughs> uh, and then I came across the nail art things which I literally think I have I think there's five of them in the set and it was about a pound well, I thought good old home bargains again coming up trumps okay so lay my paper down oops sorry did I bash you I do apologize I'm too excited Roly polies. Look at that. Look at the texture. Obviously, you can go with whatever colours you want to go with. I'm just going with these because they're the ones literally that were on my desk today that I bought. So I thought, good chance to have a go. And I think, I think I can probably get a ghost print off this one as well. So go with it this works just as well as a brayer 
<laughs> maybe not got as much pressure to it but you know or a glass if you've got a straight edge glass that you could just roll on top you don't really need a prayer oh i'm liking this one already hold it down see and that's without even applying any more paint i've got another print off that one okay let's try not too much not too much still got some on my thing it's also sliding around Ooh, i like the mix of those two colors together light touch with me brayer okay um oh i know i've got i've got some rubber stamp stars i'll take those push it in see what happens i've also can then move it along a bit <laughs> get some stars on my tissue paper why not let's do it okay and now i'm gonna get a print from this stick it on roll it round. Et voila, we have an oddly star-shaped do, but I quite like it. Um, let's go back in with the pink, why not? <laughs> oh, I'm feeling renegade today. Ooh, I don't want to lose that, so I try not to bray over it too much. There we go. losing some of this on here even print over that one why not let's do it and lay that on roly-poly hours pass by hours <laughs> no days can pass by while i play around with things like this look it's so cool Let's add some more on there. And let's go in with my beauty. So, going on with that one. Actually, do it that way. Do it that way. Yeah, let's do it that way. The thing that the brayer gives you is a little bit of weight. Um, as I say, not so great for this but we'll get something we can overprint as well so you can do more than one thing on the print so let's take that off there uh, i'm gonna leave that on there for a minute but if we can get another bit of that on there let's try it what i usually have as well is for the wet media and things is a little tub of water which i don't have at the minute because i'm just randomly going into this um i usually have some water okay so that's fairly dry now so if i put another layer of this over the top try not to put too much on there kooks see i try not to put too much on then end up putting too little on Oh no, 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 it does spread out. See? There we go. Uh, let's go for this. Oh no, let's put some more texture on it. I'm just going to lay this on it. Da, da, da. Take it off. Put it on. Take it off. Lay it down. 
Roll it round. Do you like my song? It's going to be a hit one day. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see that. That's looking really nice. I like the mix of the two blues there. And a the little bit of pink that comes through. Anyway, that's it from me today and my very messy desk. But you can see how very quickly with a jelly plate you could come up with all kinds of things that you can do with your printed papers. I'm going to be doing some more of this <laughs> today. I think this is my day taken up because I now need to also clean up as well. But um, the next time you see me, we will be doing um, another piece of collage maybe and I'll show you some of the tips and techniques that I'm using within my pieces so that you can have go and play around yourself. Have a great day and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.